Welcome to ToxChem Tutorial 1, Building a Plant Model. We will start today by creating a plant layout. Under the Influence tab, we will use a wastewater influent and drag and drop that into our drawing space. Under the Preliminary Treatment tab, we will use an Equalization Chamber and a Primary Clarifier. Under the Biological Treatment tab, we will use an Activated Sludge Diffused Aeration Tank and a secondary clarifier. Under the solids digestion tab, we will use an anaerobic digester, and under the dewatering processes, we will use a belt filter press. Under the air treatment tab, we will use an air treatment center, and under the miscellaneous tab, we will use a pass-through point. Under the effluent tab, we will use two air effluents, one for the treated air and one for the untreated. Then we will put a wastewater effluent, and finally a sludge effluent. Next, we click the Zoom Entire Plant button to get a better view of our plant. The connections are made by clicking on the effluent arrows and dragging that to the influent arrows of the next process. A valid connection is made when the arrow turns green. To finish the connection, release the left mouse button and a connection will appear on the drawing space. Seen here, highlighted in yellow. Sometimes it is necessary to determine the content of an influent or effluent flow. To do this, right click and select Edit Labels from the pop up menu. The window that appears displays the type of flow at each entrance and exit to that process. However, once a connection has been made, the label at each arrow now states which process the flow is coming from or going to. Click Accept to go back to the layout screen. As we continue to make all the necessary connections, note that ToxCam is automatically placing the lines along easy to follow routes. The general rule in making the connections is to go from the influent wastewater object to the various effluent objects. We will connect the filtered air effluent to one of the air effluents and all other open air processes to the other air effluent in our model. This is done to determine where the contaminants are coming from once we run the simulation. To delete a connection, simply right click on the process, put your mouse over Delete Connection, and select the appropriate connection to delete. In ToxCam, each stream is automatically given a name as the connection is made in the layout. Often, users want to alter these names to give them more meaning. This is done by right clicking on the process and selecting Edit Labels from the pop up menu. In this example, I will change the air effluent label to CL air, the wastewater effluent to CL EFF, the aeration tank connection to RIS, and the through point connection to WAS for recycled activated sludge and waste activated sludge, respectively. Finally, I will label the aeration tank effluent as AS EFF. Click Accept to save the new labels. At this point, it is important to note that when other processes are opened, the new name appears in the Labels window. Now, to show these labels on our model, click View, then from the drop-down menu, click on Display Stream Labels. Here we can see the labels we've entered for the secondary clarifier. The same can be done for processes by clicking on Display Process Labels. If you toggle these labels off, click View on the taskbar and select Display Process Labels and Display Stream Labels from the drop-down menu. We are now going to move on to data entry. To start, we right click on the wastewater influent and select edit parameters from the drop down menu. In this example, we will alter the flow rate highlighting the number and typing in 30,000 milliliters cubed per day. The suspended solids to 250 milligrams per liter and the temperature to 40 degrees Celsius. We now click on the contaminants tab to add chemicals to our model. Clicking the add remove button brings a pop up menu with approximately 800 chemicals from ToxChem's database. To select chemicals, highlight one in the scroll menu and begin typing a chemical's name. Then, once the chemical you want to add is highlighted, click the arrow pointing towards the box labeled current to add it to our model. In this example, we are using acetone, benzene, chloroform, and methanol. Next, we click accept to bring us back to the contaminants tab, which now has all the chemicals we've just selected in it. Beside each, there is a concentration input measured in micrograms per liter. 
In this example, we will increase concentration of acetone to 1,000, leave benzene at 100, increase chloroform to 10,000, and increase methanol to 50,000. The next step is to edit the parameters of the equalization tank. Here we do this in much the same way as the influent flow. Right click on the equalization process and select edit parameters from the drop down menu. Here we will change the liquid depth to 3.5 meters and the surface area to 40,000 meters squared. Click accept to go back to the layout screen. Now we will move on to the secondary clarifier. Again, right click on the process and select edit parameters from the drop down menu. In the secondary clarifier pop-up window, select flow split and type in 0.98 into the box beside the RAS connection. Notice here that ToxChem has automatically given the WAS stream the remaining available flow. Click accept to go back to the layout screen. We can now set our site properties by clicking layout and selecting site properties from the drop down menu. In this case we will make no changes. Simply press cancel and move on. Before we execute the simulation, we need to set up the emission hotspots. If the toolbar is missing, simply click view, hold your mouse over toolbars, and select hotspot from the pop-up menu. To get the menu back, the same procedure is followed. Then we click on the hotspot setting button to bring up the setup window. In this window, we will alter the medium level emitters to greater than 3%. The colors located beside the labels represent the level of emissions each process contributes to our model. The next thing to change is our layout's name. Right click on the tab called Layout 1 and select Rename from the pop-up menu. This will bring up the Rename Layout window. In this example we will rename our layout Plant A, B, C. At this point, we may want to add a layout to our project. This is done by right clicking on the Plant A, B, C tab and selecting Duplicate from the pop-up menu. This is very helpful for comparing similar layouts with few changes between them. In this example, we will name our new layout Plant ABC No Equalization. Then click the Zoom to Entire Plant button and right click on the Equalization tank and select Delete from the pop up menu. Click Yes when prompted by the Delete window. We will now reconnect the Influent, Anaerobic Digester, and Belt Filter Press to the primary clarifier. The final topic we will cover in this tutorial will be the file saving procedure. file name is ToxChem with an asterisk. This asterisk means that there's unsaved changes. To save, click File, then select Save As from the drop down menu. In the Save window, we will type the name Test Plant 1 for our project. Click Save and notice there is no asterisk in the name because we have just saved all of our progress. Thank you for watching this ToxChem tutorial. If you are interested in our other software products, such as GPSX for wastewater modeling and simulation, Kept at Works for preliminary design and costing, or WattPro for drinking water treatment modeling, you can visit our website at www.hydromantis.com.